Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jeff. Today we're going to talk about weather in Hawaii. A lot of people ask me about their um, whether or not they should cancel their vacation plans based on s s weather forecast. And sometimes they say, well, hey, I heard it's raining in Hawaii. Is that true? And the answer is, yeah, it always rains in Hawaii. It's always raining in the state of Hawaii. However, not all parts of, the, of Hawaii get rain all the time. So the rainiest places in the United States are here in Hawaii or some of the rainiest places. Uh, the, the mountains just uh, above Nepali and Kauai and also over here in um, Hilo, by Hilo, it's very rainy. And also the Hana uh, district of Maui. So it rains quite often in Hawaii, whereas the other side of the island, for example, it might be raining in uh, uh, Hilo, but here in Kona, it's completely sunny. You, you can be in polar opposite settings. A hurricane could approach, hit um, uh, Hilo and Kona be completely sunny with a category one tropical storm or a hurricane status storm pounding Hilo. Number, well, the number one reason to consider about that is there's two very large volcanoes here on the big island, Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa, um, very large mountains that the second a hurricane hits it, it just starts basically deteriorating or going in the opposite direction because it doesn't want nothing to do with Mauna Loa or Mauna Kea, in particular the large mass of Mauna Loa and even Hawaii and Kohala here on the Big Island. Maui also has large mountain uh, Haleakala. So um, these, these unique geographical features add to um, something also very dynamic. For example, on the Big Island, we have 11 of 13 climate zones in the world. That is more climate zones than you have from Alaska all the way to Costa Rica. So on one island, the Big Island, it's very diverse in weather, meaning you got desert, and if you've been to a desert, you know it doesn't rain very much. You've also been to a rainforest, and if you've been there, you know it rains. So within the span of 30 minutes, you could be in a, in a rainforest, and then also in a desert. Now, I'm not saying that's extremely uh, rare because that happens other places in the world, but you have to understand, it can be, it's gonna be raining all the time in Hawaii. So the question of, hey bro, or hey man, I heard it's gonna be raining in Hawaii when I get there, I'm gonna say to you, or anyone's gonna say to you, of course, it rains all the time in Hawaii. But if you say, I heard it's raining in Lahaina, um, I'm going to say I, I, it's probably not because it's a desert there. It's a desert kind of terrain. Same with Kona. Same with uh, certain por parts of um, Oahu and Kauai. So, yeah, it's going to be very uh, diverse weather here in Hawaii, and you're going to experience that. The, the climate zones do make for a very unique um, experience. Um, because you can go on top of Mauna Kea in December and there will be snow. There's a chance for snow to fall and you'll need uh, a warm coat while down at uh, Hapuna Beach, it's completely sunny. Same thing with Haleakala, you know, on Maui. So the weather in Hawaii is very diverse, but you can, it's possible to have whatever kind of weather you want on your trip. Really it is. So that's basically how I can put it into perspective. Now, the hottest months in Hawaii, like muggy, hot, like what the heck is going on? I would say it's probably September, but August, September, October, they have the same annual temperatures. In my opinion, I think September is just a little bit muggier than the rest. So, um, uh, those are <laughs> uh, those are not probably the best months to come here if you don't like hot weather, muggy hot. Uh, December is very nice, very mild weather. January is nice. And also it's, I'm going to also mention this, uh, big wave season. And that is during about December, January, February. And the way that works is in the Northern hemisphere, there's going to be winter. So winter storms are going to kick up big waves and the only land mass or only portion of land that's there to receive all these waves in the Pacific really is Hawaii. So it's just like this sitting duck in the middle of the pool 
and feels all types of uh, frequency and vibrations from the ocean because it's the first to really receive it out in the middle of the, the big expansive Pacific Ocean. Uh, so yeah, that's basically the weather in Hawaii. And if you have any other questions about the weather in Hawaii, feel free to ask. Thank you.